What up, teacups? It's your fairy vlog mother, and welcome back to One Shot. Um, so I had to take a little lunch break, and I just closed the uh, game, and I didn't put Nico to bed, and so now he's all freaked out. Amanda, are you still there? I'm here. It happened again. Everything went really dark. So dark the light bulb doesn't even light it. Sorry, buddy. Had to go get food because I was hungry. Okay, so the scientists didn't help us get a uh, key card yet. We can go do that puzzle here in a minute, but I want to go back and help our plant friend lady uh, to feel better with the water pill and whatnot. Um, so I'm gonna make my way back to the um, elevator and go see her real quick. And the cat is just not giving any kind of a shit what I'm doing and is just sitting all up on my lap, getting all comfy, being adorable. Yeah, you being adorable. So. There's a kitty in my lap if you hear any cat-related noises. Or if you see any tails and such breaking into the shot, that it would be the feline. She's a very sweet kitty cat and I love her to pieces. This elevator goes back up to the cat box. We'll need to press the button if we want to go back up. Okay, let's go. I want to go back up. Okay. Take me back to my plant friend so that I can help them grow better. Awkward silence. Awkward elevator music. Mm-hmm. How you doing? All right, we're there. Let us go and talk to our infant plant friend so that we may bring them forth into the world as a mighty plant being with this miraculous water bill from the street vendor, cause that's an excellent idea. Let's just chuck that onto the sacred plant. Yes. And we're gonna combine that with a tube of water. Yes. Okay. Good thinking, Amanda. This water should really help the seed grow. Yeah. Sprouted a tiny leaf. Hell yeah. Yay. Good luck, little plant. Yeah, we helped our plant friend. Okay, so now we can go back down and figure out that puzzle thing. Also, when the hell did I get all these lenses? Like, when did I find all these weird ass lenses? I don't remember that happening. Like, when did that happen? I don't recall receiving the lenses. So maybe I'm just having a brain fart, but I got lenses somehow. And I don't know how that happened, so... Mm -hmm. They will obviously come in handy later, but, uh, yeah. Alright, back downwardly we go. Awkward elevator silence and music all the time, uh-huh. Oh yeah, down we go, into the elevator. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just love that he just does that from time to time. It's almost like he can hear me. All right, now let's go talk to the scientist people again and see if we can figure out this puzzle so that we can get ourselves a key card and whatnot. Because that would be nice. It would be nice if we could have, well, not a key card, a library card, so we can go talk to the librarian person who doesn't answer her phone. Lady after my own heart, because, like... Oh, wait, let's talk to the fox person first, because maybe they wanted to talk to us after we rejuvenated the plant, question mark? Question, question mark? There's no one here. Nope, I haven't done whatever it is that the fox person needs me to do. But I just like to keep checking just in case. I wonder if the fox person hangs out with the cat robot and all the kitty cats. Because that would be fun. I would do that if I was a fox in a city and stuff. Okay. Look at all the street vendors. Oh wait, that was not the way I was supposed to go. This is the way I'm supposed to go. I wonder what all this is around us, because I don't think it's lava, but it's too bright to be water. But I don't think it's all of that phosphor stuff. I don't think we're just on a lake of phosphor. That would be weird. Okay. Three lights correct, access denied, eight tries left. Oh, shit. Okay. Woo! Access granted! Sweet! That was interesting trial and error, but okay. We got in. Alright, so there's an anomaly in the- oh shit. Yeah, I'd be worried too. My robot! What happened? I, I don't know, I left for a minute and... 
Please do, do not approach. Aw, poor robot. Poor robot friend. What are you doing? I cannot stop spinning. That sucks. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if you're, we're lucky, sometimes the swears go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs or head. Okay. That sucks. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, I, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV? What does that have to do with anything? Uh, never mind. Yeah, so I'm confused by this as well. This one isn't active. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. Okay. Okay, so they all say that. Um, what's over here? I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Let's see. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last week and... She fell asleep. <clears throat> Poor lady. Hmm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. Until I stink. Oh, that leads back to this room. Area place. Loot. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up more dis I'm picking up more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. There sure are a lot of computers here, and they look important, too. Ugh. Those square particles just took out two of my robots in the Glen. We might have to put off water analysis project for now. No, our water friends! They got taken! Monitoring. Monitoring. You sound like a robot, dude. And that's all you say. Okay. I don't want to go back out here. I want to go back in here. Deeper. And inwardly. And more towards a library card, I hope. Hello? Oh, shoot. If I had known you'd be here so soon, I would have turned off the darned lock. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Men to help me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? You'll have to ask the library for that. I tried. I need to see the head librarian, but I can't get to, get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? Huh, that sounds like George, all right. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Aw. Wait, I know. I'll just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks! There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot, the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And the photo on my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um... And that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Okay, cool, I know where to take a photo there. Something's poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, were you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind, it's actually pretty, really pretty. I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What in the world... What, would, what did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh... You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world, I just write down the data, crunch the numbers, generate graphs... Right. 
I've seen I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because this world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does this research firsthand. Oh? Even after the segments of land started collapsing and access uh, to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him about working on it with us, uh, about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He may just be busy with his books now, yeah. Okay, so she was talking about the author. Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliche, but true. Okay, that's all she'll say. So, Dr. Silverpoint is the robot that Silver the robot was based on. Hey Amanda, doesn't that lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it, should I? Yeah, let's do that. Oh? Th that's... How did you get this? The robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you? I see. Uh, it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh. But turns out, we can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you that. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now, she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Aw, sad times. Aw, sadness! Wait, can you read this journal? Okay. She can't read the journal. That sucks. Alright, well, now I've got a library card, so let's go do the thing. Okay, so her name is Kip, but it's Kip Silverpoint, so that makes sense. Okay. So let's get out of here and go back to the library. The library. For all you Undertale fans out there, like myself, who are getting serious Undertale vibes from this. And I love it. Though I think the thing that really reminds me of Undertale the most is, to some degree, the pixel art, though they are different art styles in a way. Um, <clears throat> oh, I need a photo from you. Are you here for your photos? Actually, yeah. I need to take a picture for reasons. Well, I got good news and bad news. Good news is that the photo center is right behind me. Bad, and the bad news that is it doesn't work, right? <laughs> You're catching on quick. After operations ended and the Barrens, this place got shut down. All the engineers lost their jobs and became street vendors. Maybe Amanda and I can figure out, can figure it out from them. That's good. It would certainly help people out with expired IDs, like me. See, she said the photo center was behind her in here. Okay, so we have a bunch of lenses. I don't know where we got this, these lenses, but we got them. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. Nope, that didn't work. Okay. Hang on. I'm gonna go see if there's any clues around. Oh, 
Okay, is there anything you remember about how to work the camera? Let me see. When arranging lenses, make sure that the thin lens is positioned between the two curved ones. Oh, cool. Can you tell me about how to get the camera working again? Yes, yes, certainly. The thick lens should be positioned to the left of both the curved lenses. Okay, so if the thick lens is to the left, and the thin lens is in between the two... Okay. You used to be one of the camera engineers, right? Camera? Oh, joyous memories. We went through thick and thin together. And by that I mean the concave lens did. Okay. Can you tell me about how to fix the camera? Hmm, it's been a while. I'm pretty sure that the bulgy lens goes on one of the ends, but I forget which. Okay. So with that, I can solve a little more of the puzzle here. Yeah, finally. Dope. Uh, cheese? Yay! Oh, my eyes! It's a photo of me! Are my eyes always this big? The back of the photo is covered in glue. And glitter. And now... The card has my face on it now. Yeah! Sweet! Amanda and I fixed the camera. Ah, oh, sweet! Woohoo! Alright, let's go to the library and go where we need to be. Alright, we got a library card now. Unauthorized entry, library card. I know, I know. I already I have it. Here, look at it. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match, successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. Eh, whatever. Now I can frickin' go up here. It's full. Looks like an old phone. Small tree. Alright, through we go. So, someone here to see the brilliant George, eh? Caught wind of my genius and couldn't help but come for yourself. Uh, see for yourself, huh? Um, don't answer. Of course you are. What else could you possibly want? Actually, I need your help. Uh, can you tell me what I need to do? I think I'm supposed to go in the tower. Ah, but of course I can help! For I, the brilliant and intelligent librarian George, beholder of all knowledge, believe you're supposed to go in the tower. That's what I said. But how exactly? Through the tower entrance room! Alas, going beyond that small entrance room requires ancient forbidden knowledge that eludes even George. But fear not, for that knowledge happens to be recorded in some cryptic tome in a long dead language. Yet, know that I, George, am fluent in several dead languages. I see. Well, that's good, because I have this that you might be able to read for me. Oh, I do have this book, though. Uh, I think it's written in some sort of words I don't recognize. Aha! An ancient book, written by no less than the most ancient... Wait a minute. This isn't ancient at all, but it's written in a dead language, nevertheless. It's time for me to unleash my brilliance. For George, me, possessor of at least one PhD, shall translate this. This will take some time, however. I see. Uh, excuse me. Oh, what's this? You're sleepy. A little. Fear not. Because I have read a book on hospitality before, and thus have prepared for this exact situation. Guest room is in the attic down the hall. In the attic down the hall. Uh, oh, I think there's a hallway this way. Yeah, oh, what's this? 
The book is poking out from the shelf. It looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Oh, neat! Oh, that's cool! Another still life of some objects on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. That's cute. Okay, we'll check those out in a minute. Uh, but for now, I think we will let Nico take a nap, and we will come back to this in the next episode. But thank you all so much for watching, and please check out the poll in the description below, or leave me a comment, and who knows, your wishes might get granted. Toodles!